Welcome. And today I want to look at something a little bit special and extra cool. It's the Zelda Anniversary Game & Watch. Now, I actually got this a couple of months ago as a birthday gift from one of my nephews. So, Lou, if you're watching, which you're probably not, but if you are, thanks a million. It's an awesome gift. I really appreciate it. And I have played it a lot. As you can see, I've kept it in its original box. So, let's get to the table, have a look inside, and I'll show you a little bit of the games as well. And here we are. So it comes in a nice bit of packaging. You can see here, this is The Legend of Zelda. It's all colour. But if you take off this protective cover, it looks like the old school one. I thought that's a lovely little touch, that. And if you turn it over, you'll see on the back what's included inside. So you've got Legend of Zelda, Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link, Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, Vermin The Link version, of course. And then you've got a clock and you've also got a timer as well. So nice little touches there. But of course, it doesn't matter how nice the box is, it's what's inside. So I'll put that to one side, open her up, put that to one side as well. In here you have got a USB-C charger. It's USB-C to USB-C, no sorry, USB-C and USB. I'm sure we've all got plenty of adapters lying around the houses. Yes, I do like to keep it in this little cover. I like to look after things and protect them. Also, if I do take this out and about with me, which I have done a couple of times when I know I've going to be in for a long wait, popping it in this just protects the screen. So before I turn her on, you can see it's very much like the retro Game & Watches of old, which is the whole point of it. That's what they wanted to do. And back there as well, obviously it's Zelda Green. There's your USB-C charge port and there's your power button. So it opens up on the clock. That must be what I left it on last time. You can get little stands where you just display them and have it on the clock all the time, which would look nice, but I just haven't got the room at the minute. And I do like to keep it in the box. I like the box. Maybe in the future I'll display it properly. And if I press game just here, see everything you've got. So, oh, I just changed language on that. That's clever, wasn't it? So obviously we all know what a timer looks like. If I just jump into Vermin, Zelda version, you can see I've actually been playing this a little bit. And there we go. I know this looks like really simple gaming and you'd never sit and play it for hours now. But this sort of thing, I didn't have Game & Watches as a child, but I did have like the Tiger Electronics Bandai Namco style ones. I think it was Bandai. And... It just gives me a huge amount of nostalgia because this sort of game was my introduction to handheld gaming. Well, that's all we really had until I got a Game Boy, of course. I used to take them on car journeys and things as a little kid, you know, young child. And I had hours of fun playing them, just beating the high score. Playing. I know it's very repetitive, but I enjoyed them. So for nostalgia alone, I'm really glad to have something like this included. And truth be told, while I'm talking to you now, I'm not having a bad time playing it. But moving on, let's go to the top. So this is, of course, The Legend of Zelda, the original. I must have died last time I played it, as you can tell by the sad music. <laughs> and it is well, it's exactly what you expect. It's a full version of the original Legend of Zelda. And I dare say, if you want to play this, unless you use emulation, obviously, it's probably one of the cheaper ways to play it to get this. I don't, I don't know how much original NES carts cost. I don't, that, that's not something I've ever collected for. And I was a Sega kid growing up. But, it can't be bad, unless it's all there in the pocket. And I really like to play retro games this way. Because I like, I do consider them compared to your more... I don't know, involved sort of RPG modern games, a bit more pick up and play and put down quickly as well, just for a quick blast. So this works perfectly for me. I haven't played a great deal of this one yet. I've been playing the second one mainly. But I, I did play it for quite a bit until I must have obviously died. Really good fun. 
you may, and it's nice, you know, it's nice to remember that you don't always need the latest and greatest of something to enjoy yourself. You can just have fun on something nice and simple that's made very well, like the Zelda games. Moving on to the one I have been playing a bit more of, the second one, Zelda 2, The Adventures of Link. There we go. So I must have come off the map and gone into a forest. Let's just get out of it. So here we are on the main map. As you can see just from that, the graphics did jump, or at least I would say they jumped forward quite well compared to the original. I think the side view, a bit more detailed. Let's get, we're still dealing 8-bit here. I think it works well. Jump and punch, there we go. Nice and colourful, like all Nintendos should be. Here we are in a village. I don't know if we're going to meet any characters or anything. Can I go in here? Yeah, of course I can. Hello. Oh. I am error. Good for you, mate. Obviously, these are sort of your deeper RPGs with long stories that take a bit of time to play to get into. You're not going to get a full flavour just from me showing it to you nice and quickly. But what I will say is, you can get the, the idea of just how good it is from this, but you can actually play this to your heart's content and really enjoy the adventure. Let's move on to the final one. This is the one I'm probably going to next play once I finish uh, Zelda 2, The Adventures of Link, of course. Well, obviously you can pick up and play each one in order. This is a Game Boy game which is not cheap to buy right now, quite honestly. Really nice little game. So this is the very start of it, literally where you just get out of bed. Obviously, I've just typed my name in as A, but you can put your own name in, which is a nice little touch. Sorry, I just went off screen then. It's because I'm looking behind the camera. It's easier for me to see it. Talk to you little people. Got my shield back. Yeah, yeah, that's nice, got a shield. Hoorah, hoorah. It's quite a dialogue intensive game. Obviously, it's all text to, sp yeah, text to speech. Let me pronounce things properly. But it really works. This is something I've never played. I didn't have it on the Game Boy back in the day. But I'm going to get my teeth into it at some point, and I think I'll really enjoy it. And look at the size of this. Yeah, not average size hands for a man, I assume. And it's tiny. It will fit in your pocket ever so easily. Well, this? Here, I've got a Switch game here, just to give you some scale. Look at the size difference between, between that and a Switch game. Very pocket friendly. Ideal for if you're going somewhere and just want a bit of pick up and play action. And as soon as something happens where you need to go, just press pause, press the power button on the side, in your pocket, carry on with what you're doing. And the battery lasts for ages too. Really impressed with that, it's so cool. Really glad I got it. So there you have it. I think this is super duper cool. I have taken it out and about me a couple of times, as I said when we were on the table. I really enjoy playing it. It's great for pick up and put down gaming, even if you just want to play for five, 10, 20 minutes in front of the telly. And it's really good fun. These old Zelda games, are fantastic great fun RPGs and I know they're not forgotten because a lot of people play them through emulation but playing them this way I really enjoy. A really cool gift Christmas is coming or if you've got a gamer in your life who likes the retro stuff I hope they'll be as happy with this as I am maybe consider it as an idea and it's quite a cheap way to get these games on official Nintendo hardware if you don't want to get them on the old NES. I can't knock it, the battery even lasts a long time, but let me know your thoughts in the comments. Do you like this? Is it something you are interested in or would consider getting? Or do you think it's just a bit of a gimmick? Love to hear from you all as always, no wrong answers, and I'll see you pretty soon. Oh, and don't forget, if you look around here, I've also got the Mario Anniversary Game & Watch, and there's a review just for you. Ta-da!